Aloha, my beautiful friends. Have you seen my recipe for my easy protein ice cream? Well, if you haven't, check that out because we're gonna show you how to make protein hot fudge. Super delicious, but before we get into that, my name is Maria Emmerich. I'm a nutritionist who specializes in the ketogenic diet and I've been helping people transform their lives for the past 20 years, over 20 years, and it's the best job in the world. Actually, it's such a great job. If you want a job, I have a keto coaching certification program because I just can't keep up with clients, so check that out. Um, but let's get into how to make protein hot fudge. Okay, my friends, to make the protein hot fudge, it's really super easy. I'm gonna turn my stove top on to like a medium high heat and I'm gonna add three fourths of a cup of heavy cream into the pot. You could use something lighter, like um, an unsweetened coconut milk, unsweetened almond milk, something of that sort. We want to bring this to a light simmer. Meanwhile, we're going to chop up this unsweetened baking chocolate. Um, you might notice different brands taste better than others. Um, I've actually tried the Ghirardelli unsweetened baking chocolate and I don't like it. I actually prefer the Baker's brand, but this was all of that the store had in Maui, they're always out of ingredients. <laughs> so you take what you can get. And we want, I just want to double check, one ounce of the unsweetened baking chocolate. So that is going to be, this is one, two, three, four ounces. So one of these squares is one ounce. And we're going to chop that very fine. Set this aside because um, then it's going to melt nice and easy. There we go. Now, if you have a good chocolate bar, you could use that too, but it's going to be sweet already. So just be aware of that. So chop this fine. All right. And then we are going to add our sweetener and you can use allulose if you want to. I'm out of allulose. I'm about to go to Bali, so we're not going to buy any more ingredients, but um, we're going to add our natural sweetener. I have some erythritol there, and I'm going to add stevia glycerite because I find that stevia glycerite is a non-bitter stevia, and when you blend sweeteners, like if it calls for a third of a cup of natural sweetener, I'm going to use less than that and then a little stevia glycerite. I like that sweetness better. We're going to add a little vanilla. And we're going to add a third of a cup of my favorite Equip Prime Protein Powder. Now, if you don't know, where have you been? Equip Prime Protein is my favorite protein powder, and I pack it with me when I travel. Yep, on my flight to Bali, I have a whole bag with me. Um, <laughs> because I'll have it for a retreat if I need to. Um, but I don't plan on eating much of the plain food for the, la the 36 hours of flying. So I have this, and it's made from beef, so it's very bioavailable. When you consume beef protein, the absorption rate is 100%, versus like a pea protein, you only absorb maybe a third of it. So I'm gonna add that to my hot, um, I'm actually gonna turn the temperature up a little bit. I don't know if you know, ever notice your stovetop, one of them will be hotter than the others. This one's always like less hot. I'm not sure why, but we're just gonna mix this all together. And then once it's simmering, I'm gonna add the hot chocolate after I remove it from the heat. I find that um, this technique works better than having the chocolate in here already because then the chocolate tends to burn. So once it comes to a simmer, I'm gonna remove it from the heat and then add the chocolate. And that works the best. So, oh, it smells really good. It smells chocolatey and good. Okay. Um, yep, it's at a simmer. I'm gonna turn it off. And then we will slide this right on in here. And you can let the little bits of chocolate sit there for a minute or two because it's going to slowly melt. I'm trying to bring it closer so you can see. 
But this is the hot fudge. That's how you make it. Um, before you put on ice cream, you don't want it super piping hot like it is right now. So we'll chill it a little bit. And I'm going to show you how nice and thick and delicious it gets when we put it over our protein ice cream. And we'll see if Kai, if it passed Kai's taste test. But always remember, Equip is such a generous company. When you use code Maria, you save big time. So don't miss out on their savings. And I'm gonna put this in the fridge just to chill quickly so we can get to that ice cream. And we'll catch you back in a little bit. Oh, I thought of something. I want to show you how thin it looks right now and how thick it'll get once it cools a bit. Right now it's super hot and I'm going to pour it into my little bolt dish that I'm going to pour it from. See how thin that is? It's going to get a lot thicker, so don't be disappointed. And if you do want it even thicker once it is cool, just add more chopped unsweetened baking chocolate. Um, but again, taste it. Make sure it's sweet enough to your liking. If you think that you need to add a little something, you could add a little pinch of salt, which I'm going to recommend. Adding salt to desserts is a flavor enhancer. Just a little pinch, and then we'll mix that up. Um, I don't know if I have a spoon. There we go. This works. Now I'm going to set that in the fridge, and we'll catch you back. Okay, I don't know if anybody caught my mistake. But instead of doing this video over, I want to show you how I would fix a recipe like this. This is a new chocolate bar for me. And if you can read that, it says a half an ounce and I only did one square, right? I need a full ounce. I'm not too sad about this because I prefer milk chocolate, but I was like, it should be thicker than that. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this over a uh, low heat because again, we, uh, chocolate's very temperamental and it can burn and separate and do all the things you don't want it to do. But I'm going to put that into this pot over low heat and I'm going to chop up another half ounce. So, oh, got to get this off here. We'll do a three. And I'm going to chop this other half ounce up, making sure it's nice and fine so it melts easily in that gently heated mixture and that's how I would fix it so whatever chocolate you buy make sure you use one ounce you could use even more if you want to if uh, you want a more of a dark chocolate but like I said I like the milk chocolate if any chocolate I'm not a huge chocolate fan I prefer vanilla ice cream over chocolate but who doesn't want a hot fudge sundae don't cut your fingers Maria Yep, so that's how I would fix it. I really love the comments where like, hey Marie, I love it when you like mess up and you just keep going with it. Uh, I think I did that on the meatballs or the meatloaf that I made. I forgot an egg and I was like, well, we're still going to make it. We're still going to eat it. It was just fine. It was already in the oven by the time I realized the egg was sitting on the counter. So yeah, there we go. Nice and fine. Might turn this up a little bit. This is why I love a whisk. I have like many, many whisks. I'll just stir that on in there and we'll have a nice darker chocolate. A thicker hot chocolate anyway, that's what we want. There we go. Awesome, all fixed. I'm just going to heat it gently until it's melted. And ta-da, our hot chocolate. Easy peasy. So I'm just guessing, but I believe this is my son Kai's favorite gadget. Am I right, Kai? Yep. The whipped cream canister. He's getting so excited seeing it out. And I'm going to show you how to use it. You can get it with for a variety of prices on Amazon. The cheap ones are going to be cheap and they're going to break easy. Um, I do like this one. I'll have the link below. But I'm going to put some whipped cream in there. And it has a max line. Don't fill it past the max line because it won't work. I'll put that in there. 
and then you can sweeten it with some monk fruit drops from allulose, whatever you like. I'll put a little CV or glycerate in there. You don't need much. And then I'm going to put a little pinch of salt in. Always add salt to desserts. You don't need much. And then you put the top on. It just screws on real easy like this. <laughs> really easy, Maria. Sure. There we go. And then you can pick whichever decorator tool you want. We have that one. And then you have a cartridge. We just buy refills, the green things, a cartridge, and that goes inside there. And then if you see this part right there, it's going to just twist on and you'll hear it seal. Hear that? Now it's all set. You're going to shake it up and we're going to put that on our hot fudge sundaes. Whipped cream canister. It's a cool gift to give somebody. Aloha, Kai. How are you? Good. Good. What are you helping dad with? Uh, Can everybody see it on the computer? Yeah, there. The cover of the new ebook, right? Yeah. Carnivore for weight loss. On another note, though, we have a hot fudge sundae for you. And we want to hear your thoughts on the hot fudge specifically, so go for it. Mm, so good. So good. The chocolate part too? Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Kai, for trying. I know you don't like nuts, but it just gives it a little texture. So what do you want to tell people? Guess with your kids. And share this video with your friends. If you like hot fudge and you love that we did a healthy version for you, please share this video with your friends to show them how delicious healthy eating can be, my friends. Mahalo. Mahalo. If you want to change your life like I've changed mine with food, I would be honored to help you. Many of you don't know that I was twice my size. I had acid reflux. I had PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. I had depression. I had IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome. And food changed my life. And not only did that happen, I get to eat good food, right? Good food. So if you want to eat good food, have perfected meal plans made by me and personal help with supplements or modifications, if you have Hashimoto's, if you have uh, Graves, if you have IBS, if you have PCOS, contact me. I would be honored to help you. Um, you can go to keto-adapted.com and find a lot of different options there for personalized help or message me uh, by commenting below on this YouTube video or you can check me out at mariamindbodyhealth.com. Mahalo!